Chris Kelly from California CycleWorks, founder of DucatiTech.com. We're here to test some timing belts via unscientific methods. We are going to use our Clark Genesis test equipment. So it just straight up slipped off? Yeah. I, I think you need to tilt the forks, the forklift back a little bit. Wow, that's a skinny little belt when it's stretched. It's off. Do what? Van's off the ground. Or it's almost off the ground. It's coming towards you slowly. Yeah, so I might put a dent in the back of the door if it actually does break. Now it's off. Wow. That's pretty impressive. Wow, that broke pretty fast. It broke? Yes. Yep. Oh, shit. These are all brand new belts. All right, I'm going to try to be as smooth as I can to get it off the ground. Oh, you want to plug the power? Yeah. That Ducati belt doesn't want to. Oh, damn. That thing does not want to stay on there. It looks like it's just cutting itself. Well, they don't have, um, the Ducati belts don't have rubber coating on the inside, they're just fabric. That's a, an observation our guys made. No, no, no. Clamp the, it's just to hold the belt on there. Yeah, to make sure that just slipping off isn't causing the issue. Yeah, because it could be cutting itself on the way off. Now, if you see that clamp move at all, it'll stop.
Something's moving on there. Alright, yay home team! Yay! There's Ducati belt off the ground. Yeah, it's trying to slip forward again, but I think the seat lamp's keeping it on. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Yep, go for it. Gotta get the full weight of the van on there. Well, that did answer that question. He's about to go by Shake test. Yeah. Go up. Do that again. Whoa. Do it again. Just keep doing it. Dude. The van is like half a foot off the ground. I don't think we can break these belts. Nice. Yeah, I just frayed the, the fabric a little bit. It's the edge of the fork. That's fine. That's, that's all it is. things where, what did I say? I don't know if it'll break the belt. And all three of them lifted the van. I'm, personally, I'm a little surprised that ours is that much better than the other ones. We first started testing with the popular aftermarket belt and it did fairly, fairly well even though it did break. It didn't break until, it didn't break until we were bouncing. Is that right? Yeah, yeah, the popular aftermarket break belt didn't break until we started bouncing up and down. And then we tried a Ducati OEM belt. And on this one, we didn't even get the van off the ground and it started slipping off the fork and then uh, broke. And now we have another Ducati belt we tested and it too slipped off the fork. So we're worried about uh, we're worried about the, them just slipping off. So now on this one we put a C-clamp in to hold the belt and prevent it from slipping off the end of the fork. And it actually got to lift the van and then uh, it took a bounce test to make it break. The CycleWorks Exact Fit belt only suffered a little bit of fraying at the edge. We bounced on it the hardest of all of them and it didn't break. Additionally, where the Ducati belts on the inside are plain fabric, the CycleWorks Exact Fit do have rubber on the inside to coat the teeth. So that helped prevent it from slipping off the forks. The same company that manufactures our belts created the Harley Davidson drive belts. They worked with engineers in LA to develop the drive belt. So they're pretty strong belts. Thanks, I'm Chris Kelly.